Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a look at doing a firmware upgrade on an ATA191 MPP. This same concept would apply for the ATA192 MPP. So we're going to first log into this unit. Admin, admin. This unit has been factory defaulted. We're going to take a look at the current firmware. So it has fairly old firmware. 11.1 as of October 2020. And the key thing is we want to make sure when we're doing the onboarding of the ATAs to WebEx calling, and this applies also to other services, to minimize risk of running into issues with the provisioning or the onboarding phase. You want to make sure that the unit itself doesn't have very old firmware. So I'm going to bump it up to the firmware that is supported currently in WebEx calling. So I'll, I'll show you. So as of the recording of this video, the firmware that's supported in WebEx calling for the ATA19X devices is going to be the 11 dash 2 dash 1 MPP firmware. So I went and downloaded that firmware. And then what we want to do now is we're logged in as admin. We're going to go to the administration section. And then we're going to go to the firmware upgrade section. And we will find the firmware 11-2-1 MPP and we're going to go ahead and apply that. The firmware upgrade typically takes um, a few minutes, I would say probably three, four, or five minutes. During the firmware upgrade, um, you'll be looking at a combination of the web interface. It will kind of give us indication, but also you can look at, uh, during a certain phase, obviously the web access will be lost to the unit. So also looking at the LEDs of the unit itself uh, would be helpful just to make sure everything's going correctly. So if you notice it says upgrade is successful. So it's going to go ahead and restart the unit. Typically the reboot of the unit is about a minute and a half or so. And then once it finishes the reboot, we'll go ahead and log into the unit just to do a visual validation that the firmware has been updated. One question might be, if you have a unit you've just added to the network, how do you know what IP address the unit has received? Because the units are set to DHCP. So one method would be to access your DHCP server. But in a situation where you don't have access to the DHCP server, you could actually run Wireshark. And so let me show you this example right here. So if you run Wireshark, and assuming that the actual computer running Wireshark is on the same LAN segment, like the same VLAN. What happens is during the uh, DHCP client discovery phase, actual um, broadcast, so if you notice this column right here, destination MAC broadcast, within the network segment broadcast would be uh, generated and this would indicate actually what IP address the unit itself will be requesting or getting, if you will. So if you notice in this case, the ATA191 MPP unit from DHCP had requested dot .75. So again, this is a really easy way to figure out what IP address the ATA has requested and gotten from DHCP server if you don't have access to DHCP. On the ATA192 MPP, the network typology as far as how the unit behaves is a little bit different than the ATA191. So with the ATA192, you want to plug in the management PC into a port that's labeled as Ethernet. So it's basically on the right hand side, this middle port right here. And once you plug in the computer there, it's going to get a DHCP address of 192.168.15.x. 
and then to web into the actual ATA 192, you would type in 192.168.15.1. And then for the internet access, you would plug in your network connection from your switch to the network port of the ATA192. So that, that's really kind of the difference. So when you're doing a firmware upgrade of the ATA192, <coughs> management PC goes into the ethernet port. So it's this port on the right side of the unit on the inside portion and then the PC is automatically via DHCP going to get a 192.168.15.x network IP address and then to web into the 192 you're going to basically type in 192.168.15.1 and you probably want to download the binaries to this PC beforehand because uh, typically before the ATA192 is provisioned the connectivity I've noticed between the Ethernet port and the network port uh, generally is not enabled so you want to basically either via Wi-Fi or before connecting the PC to the Ethernet port download the firmware update for the ATA192. Okay so we're going to go ahead and log back in to the unit itself after the firmware upgrade and we'll take a look at the status here and the firmware has been upgraded 11 2 1 MPP, date stamp June 17, 2021. The other item I wanted to mention is as the recording of this video, this is the version that WebEx Control Hub is using for the firmware of the ATA19X devices. Most likely in the near future, that will be updated to version 1.2. 2.2 as you notice here there is typically a delay time between the firmware being released on the MPP site and WebEx control up supporting that firmware so just be aware but in this case since I know it's 11.2.1 firmware on the um, ATA 191 and 192 that WebEx calling is using as the recording of this video I'm just updating it to that firmware version Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully it helps you with a firmware upgrade procedure with the ATA 191 and also 192 MPP devices. Thank you.